So we're moving right along to 2.5, dividing fractions and mixed numbers. So what does it actually mean to divide? And when I think of dividing, I think of breaking things into equal parts. So let's pretend that we have $2. And again, whatever model or thought works for you, you could do that as well. If you want to think candy bars or granola bars. So you have two and you're going to divide it into one fourth. So here's one of them and each section is going to be one fourth. And then I'm going to take this other hole and break it into one fourth. So I want to find out how many do I have. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two divided by one fourth is eight. So before we go on into like the actual rules of how to divide, I want to just talk a little bit about reciprocals. So you have two non-zero numbers, and non-zero obviously anything other than one or zero, whose product, and remember his product is multiply, is one. So here are some examples. Two thirds and three halves are reciprocal. And the reason that is is because if I have two thirds, remember product is when I multiply three halves. If I was to multiply straight across, two times three is six, three times two is six, six divided by six is one. You could also do that cross cancellation. Two divided by two is one, three divided by three is one, so you're left with one. And I'm not quite sure why that's not there. Every number has a reciprocal. So even if it's a whole number, remember I can always put this over a one to make it look like a fraction. Now we don't really go around spending our time putting whole numbers over one because it's kind of like we know it's there and we use it when we need to. Just like any numbers multiplied by one, we just don't show it because we have better things to do. So five and one fifth are reciprocals because if I multiply five times one fifth, remember when we multiply a whole number by a fraction, we want this whole number to look like a fraction. Oh, multiply straight across. We could cross cancel out. So five times one is five. One times five is five. Five divided by five is one. So the technical term from your textbook says to use reciprocals to divide. To divide by any non-zero number, you multiply. So dividing is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So here's our example. So three-fourths divided by two-thirds. So three-fourths, you never change what you start with and then you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is where people get into troubles is they like to multiply or use the reciprocal of that first number, but you want to find the reciprocal of the second number. So 3 fourths times 3 halves. 3 times 3, 4 times 2, gives me 9 eighths. And then I can always change that to a mixed number. And again, as I mentioned before, as you go up in math, you're going to leave it just as an improper fraction. And I had a student last year say that their teacher reminded them that dividing fractions is as easy as pi, just invert and multiply. And the invert would be to flip it, flip it around. And I'm just going to show you off to the side why it works. You don't really, if it doesn't work for you, don't worry about it. So 3 fourths, I'm going to divide by 2 thirds. And you're looking at that and say, uh, I don't like the way that that looks. So your goal is to change this to 1. So the only way to change a number to 1 is to multiply by its reciprocal. So 2 thirds times, or the only thing I can do to multiply to get it to 1 is to multiply it by its reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply the bottom of a fraction by the reciprocal. So I have to multiply the top by the reciprocal. Just like when you change things to a common denominator. Oh, so notice this. This is 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So this divides out to 1. 
And then here, I'm 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 2 is 8. Oh, this is the same as we have over here. I just like to show you the actual math behind it, so you're not just taking my word for it, but you're going to multiply by its reciprocal. So let's practice. So 1 fifth divided by 2 thirds. Keep the same, and then you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10. And then there's nothing I can simplify here, so I'm going to keep it just like it is. And then let's practice dividing a fraction by a whole number. So remember, I want this to look like a fraction. So I'm going to go ahead and put this whole number over 1. Remember, if it's a mixed number, you want to change it to an improper fraction. And I think you remember how to use that mat face to do that. So here we go. 4 fifths never change what you start with and you're going to multiply by the reciprocal and the reciprocal of a 2 is 1 half and again this is where people get caught up they forget that any number is over a 1 we just don't show it unless we need it and here we kind of need it because we're dividing by fractions so it's going to be 4 times 1 which is 4 5 times 2 which is 10 and then I'm going to simplify that by dividing out by a 2. So divide by 2, divide by 2, and that's going to give me 2 fifths. And then there's nothing I can do from there. Just going to leave it just like it is. So again, just some additional ways that students in the past have um, shown me or mentioned to me how they remember dividing. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell you. But if you just remember multiply by the reciprocal, you should be fine. So invert and multiply, same as multiply by the reciprocal. Fix x games, some people call it mountains and valleys. So let's say we had 2 thirds divided by, let's say, 1 half. So the way we came up with this x games is I pretend that it's a snowboarder. So he goes down the hill and then bounces back up. So 2 times 2 is 4, and then 3 times 1. So you can pretend he's going up the ski lift and then back down. So 3 times 1 is 3. So my final answer is 4 thirds, or I could change that to 1 and 1 third. Again, some other students have called that mountains and valleys. Whatever works for you, I just like to say with multiply by the reciprocal. And I've also had students, they say, oh, it's KFC. You keep, and you always keep what you start with. You flip the second, and then you have to change it um, to multiplication from division. Again, whatever works with you, I'm just sharing things that I have seen over the, the years. Another student had this little rhyme. Multiply fractions straight across. Use reciprocal when you divide. Take the second one down and flip it around, then multiply fractions straight across. I don't have that quite memorized, but if that's something that you want, want to go ahead and memorize, by all means, do that. And then just this last slide, I always want to give you things to remember um, in case you come across it and you're like, I don't know what to do. So if there's a whole number in the problem, we want to write it as a fraction. Remember, that means that that is 12 equals 12 over 1. My favorite number, if I had 11. I would want to put it as 11 over 1. If there is a mixed number in the problem, you want to write it as an improper fraction. So I know I said you probably remembered, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you one more time. So this means I'm breaking everything into thirds. So I'm going to use my mad face to find out how many of those do I have. So I'm going to multiply and then add. So 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7 over your denominator. Multiply, add, denominator. So 7 thirds. And then just remember to follow the rules. Multiply by the reciprocal or whatever you've been taught in the past. Totally fine. As long as you get the right answer. 